Yo, I got a lot to unbox. What's going on, guys? BJ Kicks here. I buy comics. I unbox them. I read them. I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell icon so that you're notified when I post new content. So um, you guys don't know how long I've been waiting to open this stack of boxes. I've just been waiting, just letting it sit and stack up and stack up and stack up all month long because I just thought it would be fun to do this one epic unboxing video. So uh, let's get back in frame. I'm going to switch up the camera view and we're going to go ahead and get started. We don't have time for games. All right, you guys, I'm back. I'm back. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited about this haul. So um, first, first, let us let me get this out of the way, because I thought it'd be really fun to do like one of those epic unboxing videos, right? Like um, I'm inspired by people like your average consumer, like in the tech world, where they just open a whole bunch of stuff, right? And it's a little bit different for them because a lot of times they're being sent those things by sponsors. They're not paying for it, blah, blah, blah. So I, I understand that this can look really irresponsible, right? Like this is a hobby. This is not a profession, right? And so when you see someone opening a whole bunch of stuff, it's like, okay, this person is just being really frivolous with their money. I hear you. I understand. So not that, you know, I need to justify anything to anyone, but I thought I'd put, you know, concerns at ease and say one, this, this is literally all of my purchases for the month um stacked up together and there's only 10 boxes the other thing i'll say is that this is all stuff i got from ebay so i didn't pay retail for most of this stuff um in fact for most of it i paid very well under retail uh i got this stuff that just some really steals of a price um if that makes any sense now, all of this isn't ebay there's a couple of things here that aren't ebay but we're going to get them out of the way pretty quickly first there's some honorable mentions um I'm not going to have time to do a whole extra video for, um, you know, what I picked up from the live show this week. So here, here it is. Here it is. So I've got the Mighty Morphin 1 in 100 variant by uh, uh, Inhyuk Lee or Lee Inhyuk. Uh, we've got Power Rangers number one, the A cover, because I didn't grab that before. Uh, got a couple of true believers here. So I got a Fantastic Four, which is the first appearance of Black Panther. And then I got a Thor True Believers, which is the first appearance of Beta Ray Bill. Uh, so we got those. Uh, I've got an Amazing Spider-Man 52, the Todd Nock uh, headshot variant. Really cool. I like that a lot. Um, and then a couple of Batman books. So this is Batman in Noir Alley. Uh, it's a Batman or DC Comics and Turner Classic Movies uh, mashup or collaboration there. Really cool. And then I got this Batman Elseworlds, Scar the Bat. Never really, never heard of it or anything outside of the live show. But I mean, it's Batman with a Tommy gun. So it's probably good. So honorable mentions, wanted to get those out of the way. Now, there is one thing here that I know for sure is not an eBay haul or not an eBay purchase. So I'm gonna get that out of the way first. This box is from a comic shop. And that's, I know, that's the name of the comic shop. I'm not being secretive at all. So shout out to Aaron, shout out to Oral, and shout out to the rest of the staff there. Um, a comic shop does a live show. They actually do several live shows every week. Um, but the one I usually watch is on Wednesdays on the Comic Book Shopping Network. So check them out. Um, the Comic Book Shopping Network is a Facebook group that you can join where you can buy comics. There's all sorts of people that do their live sales on the Comic Book Shopping Network, but Aaron and the crew are my favorite. And that's really just because they were the first people to ever sell me comics. So nothing against any of the other shop owners or sellers. So real quick, I didn't get a lot from them. Um, this is crossover issue number one. I wanna say this is a one in 10 variant. Um, it's just a bunch of people reading comic books cool stuff um then we got go go power rangers number 16 by ryan parrot i just grabbed it because it's alpha five on the cover and he's dancing and it looks cool 
All right, this one, this one, actually, I'm gonna save this one for last. So let's go here first. Here we've got punchline number one, or it's a one shot, the punchline one shot that came out a couple weeks ago. Uh, this is a Tyler Kirkham variant exclusive to the comic book shopping network. So there were a few retailers that were able to kind of trade for it and stuff, but it's a comic book shopping network exclusive. And I'm pretty sure it says that on the back of the book. It does. Tyler Kirkham, RF Prianto. So cool. There we go. There's that. And, uh, oh, this was a combo. So on that one, we've got Tyler Kirkham. On this one, this looks like Peach Momoko, but I don't see a signature. But who else is doing this style? No one else is doing this style. So this has got to be Peach Momoko. Um, yep, there we go. Exclusive team variant, Peach Momoko. I love Peach Momoko because I won a very limited Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic by her. And um, I've been collecting her stuff ever since. All right, this last one. This ties into the next box, so that's why I had to save it for last. This is Justice League issue number 50. Um, so this is written by Jeff Johns, artwork by Jason Fabbitt, um, part of the Dark Side War, the finale of the Dark Side War, if I'm not mistaken. In this issue, aside from it being the first appearance of Jessica Cruz as the Green Lantern and... Um, Jason's new brother? Is that what that says? I don't know. Um, so besides all that, this is the issue in which Batman learns that there are three Jokers by sitting on the Mobius chair. Beyond this just being a really dope cover, um, this sets up three Jokers. Probably one of the most epic Batman stories in ages. Right? And with that, let's open up the next box. Oh, cool. I don't have to bring out the scissors. It just says pull. So this one is from Barnes & Noble. And here we go. Very cool. Cool, cool. So this... I feel like there's something missing here. Maybe. Maybe not. Alright, so this is... Batman, Three Jokers, the Barnes & Noble Exclusive Edition. Uh, the Barnes & Noble Exclusive includes three bonus lithographs, um, which is something that, you know, none of the others got. The direct market didn't get it. Amazon didn't get it. You can only get this through Barnes & Noble, and um, it even comes with a different cover. Uh, three Jokers, like I said, is one of the most epic Batman stories in ages i enjoyed the heck out of this although i was disappointed by the ending i got a review coming up th of this later this week so um i won't belabor the point we're, we're gonna get to this one. um and then what's this stuff oh a bunch of coupons wine vouchers okay barnes and noble's just trying to get me to spend more money so shout out to you guys barnes and noble thank you and let's discard this box all right, so I forgot to say, this is mostly going to be graphic novels. I got the single issues out of the way at the beginning. This is pretty much all graphic novels that I got on eBay uh, for ridiculously low prices. And we're going to start these graphic novels off. Well, I guess we started with Three Jokers. We're going to keep this going. So this I got from eBay. Um, the seller was the Seattle Goodwill, and um, I'm excited about it. All right. Nice. Okay, so this was clearly a library copy, and I don't remember it saying that. Yeah, it definitely did not say it was a library copy. It just says, may have some shelfware due to normal use. Ah, uh, whatever. This is Dark Knight, a true Batman story, written by Paul Dini, artwork by Eduardo Riso. This was a Vertigo title. It's got some... I'm gonna... We're, go, we're gonna save this book. It's... I can... It's fine. 
it's fine. Anyway, I got this because just recently I picked up the Batman by Paul Dini omnibus and um, I heard great things about this story. So the great Dark Knight, a true Batman story is the harrowing and eloquent autobiography, autobiographical tale of Dini's courageous struggle to overcome a truly desperate situation. Batman story like no other and one that will truly resonate with fans with art by the incredible and talented Edward Riso, 100 bullets, etc., etc. I got this for like $4, and it was free shipping. So I shouldn't complain about it being a library copy, but I just didn't know it was, so that was disappointing. All right, on to the next eBay book. All right, so this, this I'm also excited about. This is the Marvel Now Omnibus. Um, it basically just has, uh, not the Marvel Now, the Ultimate Marvel Omnibus. So this has the first six issues of every Ultimate series. So collects Ultimate Spider-Man 1 through 7, Ultimate X-Men 1 through 6, the Ultimates 1 through 6, and Ultimate Fantastic Four 1 through 6. Um, I've got a lot of the Ultimate Spider-Man in trades. I don't have any of the others. Well... I'm lying. I have like 75% of the Ultimate X-Men run. I'm missing like 20 issues of that. But anyway, I picked this up. This was one of those books that got liquidated not that long ago. And when it did, you could find it in Ollie's for like $19.99. But my Ollie's didn't have it. So I ordered it online. And it was only like 20 bucks on eBay with free shipping. So there's that. This, this is um, this is a single issue, but I don't know if you can see this, but there's clearly a crease right here. I don't know who decided to pack this like this. It's like they just wrapped it in bubble wrap and put a shipping label on it. Like, that is insane. I'm going to have fun unboxing this. How are we even going to do this? Let's cut inside here. So, yeah. Note to uh, any one of you guys who's selling stuff on eBay. This isn't the way to do that. But yeah, there's a big crease in it, so I'm going to assume the book is going to end up being damaged. I mean, it is what it is. This is why you probably shouldn't. If you're trying to buy single issues, eBay is probably not the best way to go if you're just if you're trying to keep them in any particular condition. For me, when I'm buying single issues on eBay, it's just to complete a run because I want to read the story. Um, so here we go. Sandwiched in cardboard. Uh, let's do this one more time. Can we just grab it? Nope. I hate when they put so much tape because it's like you never know which part of the book you're going to actually touch with the knife. But this was pretty far in there. All right. That was a lot of work for this one issue. This is Static, issue number nine. Um, obviously, Static is a is a spec book right now. Um, well, really, just issue one is a key issue um, at the moment. But I've been trying to fill out my Static run. I had issue one. I ended up grabbing a copy over the summer for like $10. Now, all of a sudden, it's a spec book. And the one I had was probably bad, so I bought another one for friggin' $50 so I could read it. Um, and I'm trying to get the rest of it. I'm trying to at least, trying to at least get issues one through 15. Um, Static ran for 45 issues and it's been tough. It's tough to find a complete run of Static unless you wanna pay thousands of dollars for it. I don't, so I'm gonna do it the long way. Uh, so this is issue number nine, one issue down, 30 more to go. All right. All right, here's another eBay bag. Let's see. Where are my scissors? All right. I'm pretty sure this is a duplicate. I definitely won a static op uh, auction on eBay. And then I want another one that had like one of the same books. I don't remember if that was the one or not. But let's see what's in here. 
Okay, so this is saran wrapped? People, I don't. <laughs> this is like cocaine. Like, what is going on right now? I don't understand. This, so again, I'm going to do a video called Top 5 Places to Buy Comics. And eBay is going to be at the bottom of that list. And this is why. Because people package things in the craziest ways. You have no idea what kind of condition your books are going to be in when they arrive. All right. Here we go. It's three books. What's terrible is you can see there's a crease right here. And every book is bent in that same spot. Like, all of them. Right there. Again, it's all good because I only bought these books to read. I didn't buy them for selling or anything like that. Because, you know, I like to read what I buy. But, man, if I was a collector, like, you know, I was one of those people that just need everything in pristine condition. This would really, really upset me. All right. So here we go. Look at these creases. Look at the creases on this. You can't tell because it's white. But each of these is creased in the same spot. Like, look at that. It's, anyway, anyway, this is static issue four. Issue eight, which is my favorite static cover, which is why I bought it. Um, and then another copy of issue nine. What's crazy is the terrible copy of issue nine is this one. I thought the other one would be worse. But, yeah. So, there we go. Static. Alright, let's open this one up. Okay. We got a bubble mailer. Or a bubble mailer inside of a bubble, bubble, bubble mailer. Hopefully, this is a good sign. Alright, bubble mailer inside of a bubble mailer with a book. Perfect. Now, in one of my previous videos, I did a review of Green Lantern uh, Rebirth. And I was telling you guys how I can't get into Hal Jordan and I can't get into Superman really all for the same reason. And you guys overwhelmingly uh, were like, hey, check out a bunch of Superman books. And Birthright was one of them. Now I was told that this was really hard to get in a hardcover format. Um, I got this for $19.99 on eBay, and apparently it had been going for way more than that. So I'm excited about that, um, and I'm excited to read it and see if I actually like it. Superman Birthright, written by Mark Wade, artwork by... Oh man, I had the video pause, but anyway, so this is Superman Birthright. Uh, artwork by Mark Wade, or <laughs> written by Art Mark Wade, art by Lionel Francis Yu, who is currently doing X-Men. Well, he's doing covers. He was doing interiors. Um, his X-Men work is better than this, but this isn't bad. Anyway, Superman Birthright. You guys told me to get it, so I got it, and I'm going to review it just for you. Let's get into this next book. Um... I think the rest of these are going to have some Superman themes. Because like I said, you recommended Superman stories, and I got all the Superman stories that you recommended. Because they were really good prices on eBay. Side note, if you are looking for comics, right now is a great time to get them on eBay. Because people are... This isn't, okay, that's cool. This wasn't the same person, I promise. But they did the same thing. The bubble mailer inside the bubble mailer. But yeah, it's a great time to buy comics on eBay because, you know, people are unloading because Black Friday is coming up. All right, so this is another book that you guys told me I had to get. Um, and so I got it. This is Superman Secret Origin. Um, written by Jeff Johns, artwork by Gary Frank. This is the same team that brought us Doomsday Clock, 
And I'm pretty sure they did one of the Earth One books as well. I think it was the Batman Earth One. I'm loving this artwork. So listen, if I'm going to get into a Superman story, it's going to be one with really great artwork. So I'm going to read this and I'm going to tell you what I think of it. I promise. So, and that's a deluxe hardcover. So it's oversized. I always love oversized artwork. All right. This is another Superman book that you guys told me I needed to read before I wrote off Superman as a character. So I'm, I'm trusting you. How do I open this box? I can't tell like where it actually opens. All right, let's do this. Okay, cool. Almost there. My wife would freak out if she saw me opening this box like that. All right, cool. Pull out this tab and that tab. All right, more library books. There's a stamp on these, but I shouldn't complain because I got these for an amazing price. This is All-Star Superman by Grant Morrison. Whoops. I was just trying to focus. I wasn't trying to move the camera. Uh, All-Star Superman by Grant Morrison, Frank Quitely. Um, volumes one and two. I got both of these for $15. Um, and that included the shipping. So, I mean, these are definitely, these are old. These are well read. These are definitely reader copies. Um, honestly, I probably could have just read the story online, but I like having my books in hardcover. I like to actually open them up and read them. Um, this artwork, I'm not a big Frank Quitely fan and Grant Morrison seems to love Frank Quitely. Um, oh wow. This is, this page is clearly ripped. All right, whatever. It's eBay. Again, this is, this is why you don't necessarily buy books on eBay because they're not, you don't get the best descriptions. You don't get the best pictures. You don't know if there's something wrong until you get it. But for this price, to read the story, it's not bad. All right, we are down to the last box. And uh, this one, this box, this didn't come from eBay. This came from HamiltonBook.com, which is a great source if you're looking for like, you know, they're not quite like Ollie's, like they're not necessarily like close out, but they get random stuff for really cheap. Um, so yeah, let's open this. I love the way the Hamilton book box is open. All right. So two books here, two brand new books here, which is a relief after these freaking eBay things, but whatever. So first book is another one that you guys recommended. You told me to read these books. You told me to read them basically in this order. I was told to read Birthright and then uh, read Secret Origin, and then read For All Seasons, right? So here we go. This is Superman For All Seasons, the deluxe edition. Uh, deluxe hardcover, written by Jeff Loeb, artwork by Tim Sale, uh, which is the same team that brought you Batman The Long Halloween. Um, I've got the omnibus, or the Batman by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale omnibus, um, and they've also did all, all the... The gray, yellow, red, and blue, and white. Something like that. But anyway, they did all those for uh, Marvel Comics. So anyway, Jeff Loeb, Tim Sale, great creative team. I know Tim Sale's artwork can definitely like, take you out of stories sometimes as well. But um, I've heard this is like the best Jeff Loeb story. And I find that hard to believe, but I have it. So I'm going to read it, and I'm going to review it. And this last book, when I saw it on Hamilton book, I mean, the, the, the Superman for all seasons, this book was $7 on hamiltonbook.com. And with that, the, four, the shipping was like four bucks. And I was like, I can't even justify shipping that with the prices so low. Um, so I got another book. This is Cosmic Odyssey, the deluxe edition. 
written by Jim Starlin, artwork by Mike Mignola, and some other people. Um, this is just one of those books from the 80s, apparently. I mean, Jim Starlin is the same dude that brought you the Infinity, Infinity Gauntlet, right? So you already know like, he's great with the cosmic threats and stuff. Here's Dark Side. Uh, we got some of the Teen Titans. We got, got a bunch of people here. So I'm excited about this because this story features uh, John Stewart as the Green Lantern representative on the Justice League. So a deadly force like none other. All right, listen, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read this. This but the video has already been too long. But just know. I actually picked this up in single issues a while back, thanks to the Ultimate Comics live show, but I'm glad to have it in deluxe size hardcover. So it's oversized, um, and that's, that's always something to be happy for. It's oversized, it's a hardcover. Um, no one read it, there's no library stamp, there's not a random hole in a page, um, and it's gonna be a good book. So I have a lot of reading material here. I mean, let's just look at this the size of this haul. And this is just the hardcovers. This is what we got. We got all of this, right? But I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna review it. I hope that you saw something you liked. I bought all of these Superman books because you guys in the comments told me to. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope the review is good. I hope, the, I, hope I enjoy the stories after I spent all this money. Um, but I hope you saw something you liked. If not, it's cool. You can buy what you like. Make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. I'll see you in another one very soon. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you soon. Peace.